And today, I want to take uh, a moment uh, to recognize the, co the contributions of Kelly. Uh, as I indicated, she's a member of my staff. She's U.S. Army Major Kelly McManus, who has spent last year working in my personal office as part of the United States Army Congressional Fellowship Program. Before Kelly departs my office here at the end of the year to return to the big Army, I rise to express my appreciation to Major to the major for all of her hard work and dedication in service to our nation. Kelly's 10 years of service in the United States Army has developed her leadership abilities and shaped her perspective on major defense issues of national significance. These assets and attributes have made her an invaluable asset to our team as we work to serve Kansans, service members, and veterans. Before joining our office, Kelly's assignments have taken her around the world in service of our country. She deployed to both Iraq and Kuwait in support of operations New Dawn and Spartan Shield from 2011 uh, through 2012, served as the medical planner for the Allied Land Command NATO headquarters in Izmir, Turkey, and reported to Wiesbaden, Germany to serve on the personal staff of U.S. Army Europe Headquarters Commanding Le General Lieutenant General Ben Hodges. Kelly has also served stateside leading her detachment through deployment in Fort Dix, New Jersey, in support of Hurricane Sandy relief in efforts, and commanded a medical company in the 2nd Infantry Division at Joint Base Lewis-McChord in Washington State. Kelly joined our team in January 2018. From day one, she embraced Kansas, its people, and the challenges they faced day in and day out. On her first official trip to Kansas, she visited our military installations and talked with soldiers and airmen to learn about their life's experiences. She made it a priority to spend time in Kansas and to learn from the Kansas people so that she could bring their thoughts and ideas back to the nation's capital. These personal conversations with Kansans and Kelly's experience in the Army have helped drive meaningful policy. She has led our efforts to secure maternity leave for those serving in the National Guard and Reserve after, taking, after talking with an expecting mother in the Kansas National Guard. She has also sought to increase access to suicide prevention programs and destigmatize the notions surrounding mental illness. In addition, her experiences serving in uniform have been instrumental to my efforts to support our veterans. Over the past year, I have continually been impressed by Kelly's leadership and professionalism. At every opportunity, she has proven herself to be an important and fully integrated member of my team, carrying the equal weight and responsibility of my personal staff. Her seamless communications and her skill in tackling issues big and small have been a great benefit to our office and the people that we serve. Kelly has exceeded all of my expectations and has demonstrated a commitment to excellence that has been nothing short of outstanding. A testament to her leadership over the past year was her promotion to major in July. It was my honor to be part of her promotion ceremony and have the privilege to pin her new and deserving rank on her uniform. Uh, it'll be sad uh, when she leaves our office at the end of the month, but I know she will serve the Army well next year in the Army's budget liaison office, where I'm confident she will be a highly effective ambassador to Congress for the Army. Kelly is one of the most impressive military officers I've had the honor of knowing, and I hold her in the highest regard, personally and professionally. She is a significant asset to our country and to the United States Army. Kelly represents the best that the Army has to offer, and I know she will continue to be a benefit to the future of our nation. There is no group of people I hold higher in higher regard than those who serve our nation, and I want to reiterate my gratitude to Kelly for her dedication and service to our country. So once again, thank you, Kelly, for all you have done for Kansans this year and what you will continue to do for our nation. You have been a model of selfless service and of leadership. And I know you will continue to do great things throughout your Army career and your life of service, wherever that path may lead you. Mr. President, thank you. I yield the floor.